So you, you guys were asking me what's in the bag, right? So what's in the bag, it's a pretty small bag, right? Is something called a scarlet. So that's a scarlet. Take the uh, lens cap off. And then uh, we can put a battery in it and fire it up if you want. So these are the batteries. Make sure that one's charged. Yeah, that one's charged. So that'll run it for, give or take, about an hour. And we can load it up. The uh, battery goes in the grip in this configuration. There's lots of different ways you can build it and config it. That goes in there. That goes in there. And then we boot it up. For, for those that are familiar with a Red One, uh, which is our first gen product, that's a 4K motion picture camera. If you saw the social network, that was uh, David Fincher's movie from last year that was quite a big buzz. That was shot with Red One cameras. The big summer blockbuster, Pirates of the Caribbean, the big 3D movie that's coming out. That's a Red One movie. And uh, this is sort of like the, the junior version. This will be bought by professionals in the industry looking for a major, major upgrade to a standard high-end HD camera. Um, so this camera, its only actual competition in terms of what's better than a Scarlett would be a Red One or an Epic, which are the higher end models of this. So in terms of why would you pick a camera like this as opposed to using maybe a Canon digital SLR, the type of SLRs you're shooting with to shoot video, is because this camera is actually purpose built for both still and motion. It's a true high resolution device. The, the SLRs are true high resolution devices for stills, but they're actually sub 1080p for, um, for video. When you put them in video mode, uh, it's kind of one of those don't be fooled. While it'll say 1080p, it's not actually 1080p resolution. This camera is way, way beyond that in terms of uh, its resolution. It's much higher than HD, um, but it's very, very small, very lightweight. It has an advanced integrated zoom lens, and it shoots raw. So this actually shoots raw motion pictures that can be adapted and used for anything because they're completely flexible. Um, it's not a video stream that is being recorded here. This, even though it might kind of look to you like a video camera, this is not a video camera by any stretch of the imagination. This is a motion picture camera. This is something called a red note. It's now on the back of the camera, right? But interestingly enough, this camera has wireless capabilities for control. So I can pop it off and I can link it wirelessly just by pressing a button. And we'll give it a second to find it. Okay, it's found it. So now I can control, if you see, see I'm doing it wirelessly, see that? I can actually control the camera totally wirelessly. So I can control all the parameters of this camera from say 100 feet away. So if this thing was on a crane, 50, 60 feet in the air, I wouldn't have to lower it down to change the settings or change the iris or roll it or stop it. It's got a record button on it. I can control multiple cameras from one um, Red Moat device. We have this zoom lens, which I think is, I want to say 28 to well over 200 millimeter in, uh, in its zoom range. So it's actually quite flexible. So what you're looking at here, this is still an engineering prototype. So we don't have any final costs on this yet, but this is off the charts in terms of its price performance logic. The rough idea for what we think this is going to end up retailing for will be about $6,000, give or take. Um, and it, there, there's nothing competitive in the market for this price point or anything 10 times this price point that can do what this device will do. It's pretty amazing in that respect. So we're pretty proud of it.